Hi everybody. Um, this is just a quick overview of a new coffee grinder that I just purchased off of Amazon. Uh, when I purchased it, it had only four reviews and no real YouTube videos, uh, no, not a lot of information. So I figured I'd make a quick video and upload it and uh, ignore my bulldog. There's the bulldog. Um, this is the box that came in. Uh, nice quality box. This is the model BDCG015. And the box is pretty nice. No complaints about the box. Came packaged very well. You'll notice that the box does not have any branding. Uh, whereas the unit itself is branded Shardor. Um, and I've seen this uh, in, for sale in bulk on Alibaba, where it's sold approximately around $33 in units of a thousand. I think I paid approximately $55 or $56 on Amazon. Um, okay, so a couple things perhaps to note is the hopper is removable, which I will not pop it off. It has a little button back here and the whole thing pops off, but because I'm trying to film uh, and I've only got one hand, it's difficult to put that back on. Um, but the hopper is plastic. The lid is plastic. Um, no problem with it. I mean, it seems like it's very well made. Uh, yeah, so no complaints there. It does come with uh, this bin for the coffee grounds. So that would just really go right here. Um, I have opted not to use that. It doesn't make a lot of sense for me. I'm with this grinder, I'm grinding and uh, using it immediately in an aero press. Um, the unit also does come with a couple of, uh, of uh, attachments for an espresso machine. Um, I am not using those currently. I do have an espresso machine, but I haven't really kind of dug into that. Um, so let me sort of show you how it operates. So I'm gonna zero this out real quick. Uh, this is set to grams. So I'm gonna put this in here. I've got some beans in here from earlier this morning and let's see if I can, I want to turn it on. I'm afraid if I turn it on, it's going to start grinding immediately. I'm not really sure. There it goes. So I want to, I want to do some grinding in an empty bin. So I'm going to turn this up to, let's say 17 seconds, All right. So I've got it set uh, for a pretty fine grind. Um, and then, so you adjust the time up and down by just these two buttons right here. And then you just hit start. And that's it. So as you can see, it just basically counts down. It remembers the last time. So, yeah, so that's 17 seconds on that particular uh, grind ended up to be about 11 grams, which is about what I wanted. So, that is the general operation of how everything works with it. Um, you know, I don't know anything about the longevity of the item, um, so I, I don't have any comment on that. I've had it for four days now, and I've used it multiple times daily. Uh, I've been very happy with it so far. I have nothing negative to say about it. Uh, some of you might be interested in like if it's anti-static or whatever. And as far as I can tell, it certainly seems to be. I haven't had any issues with that. I, I have used this little bin as well that it came with uh, just when I first got it. And it wasn't very staticky or anything. So it seems to do a good job with that. Um, there's pictures on the Amazon listing that sort of show the burr, and if, if I had somebody else filming it, I would take the hopper off and, and try to demonstrate it. Let me see if I can do it, and I'll just remove it. Okay, so you can see right there, there's still some beans in there. Um, let me sort of show you... Well, there we go. Okay. So let me show you about this nice feature. I really actually thought it was going to be a gimmick, and it turned out to be pretty nice. So they also... Uh, this item comes with this sort of grommet, I'm not sure what else to call it, as well. And it helps you sort of clean your, your device. So you just sort of place it on top like that. I'm going to put this 
that particular cup underneath. You take your lid, you put it back on, and so I'm, the unit is, is turned off, but you just press it down and it forces air through the machine and through the burrs and you'll see additional stuff come out. Well actually, let's measure this. Let's zero this out real quick. So we'll tear that. So we're down to zero. Let's see how much excess grounds will come out. So all I'm doing is just kind of depressing and you can see some stuff falling through. And all that's doing is blowing air through the machine. So we'll see how many more grams that netted this after we zeroed it. Well, here did not to get many that time. I've, I've had it get like one or two grams of excess material out. But that's basically how it works. Oh, and I just squeezed it again and more fell out. So, But it actually, it works really well as far as uh, kind of blowing excess grounds out. It's, it's a really nice feature. Um, and I had not seen that on other machines, at least not at the sub $100 price point. So yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. I actually like it quite well. Um, I the only other thing I would say about the unit is, you know, when I when I purchased it, it had literally like only four reviews. Um, there's a ton of listings for Shardor coffee grinders on Amazon, and all of them have, you know, a thousand plus reviews. And of the units that I saw them selling, um, it looked like most of them had four or five star reviews. So uh, that gave me some degree of confidence that perhaps this unit would be, um, you know, a four or five star quality device, at least as far as, you know, a, a non-commercial product goes. And I would definitely say it's non-commercial. It is all made out of plastic. It is, it's not light. It's, it, it certainly weighs a few pounds. Uh, but it's a nice size. It's not too large. Um, you know, it, it fits in a kitchen fairly easily. And I really like the way that you can sort of uh, not only dial in your grind, but, it, you know, once you get your grind determined, uh, you can dial in the exact number of seconds to run it and get, you know, a pretty specific dose. So if, you, if, if you're very precise about your coffee... Uh, this gives you some sort of granular control over that that I think is uh, is worthwhile. Anyway, that's it. It's uh, a nice unit so far. How long it lasts, I don't know.